Okay, so the first thing he's always going to look at is what we call the Hank route. And, and this is basically a route where we want to handle that kid or replace him in Tampa too, because that's where we're going if in this flat player read, both corners are, excuse me, uh, they're zero soft and both of them are down hard. Okay, I'm working my slot on the mic back or on the Hank right now. If I call curl to my quarterback, then he sees cover two, okay? This guy wants to replace. He wants to get in there about 8 to 10, and he wants to get open off the mic. It's his job to control or replace the mic, and okay? there's no specific landmark for it, but this is the first look. Again, a little bit different than what we've done on all the other stuff, okay? Love 50s protection on curl. Because curl flat, you want to get the back out now. There are times where we'll go three by one. The H's rule anytime he hears curl is to run the flat. So if I put the H over here to run the flat, I would put the back over here and I could 63 put him out there. So you get a little extra protection. You get the center kick to the field for any field blitz. Again, if I were to go 63, I could get them all picked up from the field. I could check him out late, but because of the distance, he usually isn't late. So 63 curl out of three by one is a great way to go. 52 curl out of two by two is my favorite way to go. And if we're hot, we just you know throw it to the flat on either side, okay? So what we got here is we got 52 out of two by two. Wherever the H is, he's running the flat, okay? He sees curl, he, um, he's in the huddle and hears the word curl, he's gonna run the flat, okay? What we do on the curl is we run these things because they're the second look. We run them off the post stem, right? So you got seven steps to the uh, to the vertical, three steps to the post, and then you're back in attacking the football. And, and again, we feel like we can sell that off the post stem, and that's for both of them, because this is the first look. Okay, and if that guy's open, if that guy runs on Tampa, or that guy widens as the flat player widens, just bang him and get it over with in any coverage. Okay, uh, and that's what holds him in there. So if we do have on four under, working one, two, three, because the nickel spurs in conflict, the only one of the five underneath that's in conflict, we can hold that mic to really get the leverage on him and run a deeper curl. If it's three under, we're still looking here, but then my quarterback's eyes, because he knew pre-snap I was working weak, would go two, three. So you'll see this route written up like this, dependent upon his pre-snap thought process when it came to a flat player read and attacking the softest corner which is code for attacking the kid in conflict in those nine zones where no defensive coordinator can cover all nine, okay? Um, these are the four, smash, sail, turn, and curl. Um, again, in, in other books, 